So we're here to talk plunger buttons. Plunger buttons are the little button that goes on the recurve bow, just there, to make sure the arrow is in the center of the bow. So the plunger button, that thing there, just unscrews from the bow. Like so. And that's the plunger button there. Now they come in all all basic shapes and different cost points and we want to look at the difference in the different plunger buttons and I've got a range of them here and basically how you set them up on your recurve bow so that you put them in the right spot. Now most of your modern compound bows that have a metal riser require a plunger button because the riser is not in the center of the bow. Um, with a traditional long bow or a wood bow the riser actually is at that point there and the riser acts as a plunger button. What the plunger button does, it pushes the arrow away from the riser of the bow. Now the plunger button has two main functions. One, the, to center up the arrow with the center of the bow and on the PSC um, X appeal you can see the line there and you can see the line that's the end of the button and you can see it's straight in line with that line of the riser. Now, other recurves don't have that function. They, they don't have a line down the center and all you do is line it up with the center of the limbs and the hand grip. The hand grip being that point there. Um, so the basic function of a plunger button is to line up the arrow rest and also to apply tension. There, so it's got tension in the spring. Now all plunger buttons have the ability to adjust the tension of that button there, how much it pushes in. Now the purpose of adjusting the pressure, if we think of it nice and simply, if the plunger button is hard, it's pushing out the arrow away from the bow. If it's soft, it's pushing the arrow into the bow. So the way I like to think of it, a hard plunger button, the tension on the plunger button is micro adjustment, either left or right. So increasing the pressure moves the arrow that way, decreasing the pressure moves the arrow that way. So here I've got a range of plunger buttons. They vary in price. Um, and they even, they even start off cheaper than this. Now they all have the same basic function. They all have a little spring. This one's made out of metal. Um, you can adjust the position left or right through that little allen key there and move the plunger in and out. Now with this one, this is the SF Forge plunger button. To adjust the spring tension, you've got a little allen key there and you just screw this screw in. The more you push it in, the more pressure it puts on the screw and the harder that button becomes. Now just going up to a slightly higher grade plunger button, you still have a metal tip here which pushes in, but this point here, if I can get it to focus, it's surrounded by Teflon. So it's meant to make the button smoother in action. Now to adjust the tension on this plunger button, I'll try and get it in focus. Um, you've got a little dial on the side here and you just click it. Now what that's doing, it's moving this barrel here up against this spot here. So it's moving these two points closer together and increasing the tension on the spring. Moving it out decreases the pressure on the spring. This little wheel here with that little grub screw moves the plunger button in or out. The cartel plunger button, I'm going to guess, is somewhere around the $35 mark. The SF Forge is probably around the $20 mark. This is the win and win plunger button. Um, same thing, the collar to adjust the plunger button in or out is there. Micro adjustment is here, there's a little lock screw on the side, and you just click it in or out. And that just increases or decreases the tension. Once again, a metal head here. Um, now this plunger button is probably about $150 and the action, it's got a lot greater movement 
from there to inside and it's a lot smoother than the cheaper SF Forge. So if I press on them both, you'll see the win and win one will be pushing in now like all the way and now the SF starts to push. So at the win and win at $150 is a smoother action the entire way through where the cheaper $20 one is not as smooth. Now this one here is the AAE Gold Micro Plunger, probably priced around the $150 price point. It's got a little rubber ring. Now I will, the Win and Win's got a little rubber ring on the inside there to avoid, to avoid it coming loose. The Cartel does not have a rubber ring. This has got the little Teflon on the inside to make it nice and smooth all the way through. This actually has a plastic, I believe it's plastic or some material on the end. So the pointer is actually made of two materials. You got the, to me this looks like carbon, carbon here and I believe it's plastic or some type of plastic on the end. Um, same as the other plunger buttons, you've got the collar just there to move left and right. Um, and here you'll see little markings for when you adjust the plunger button in or out using the dial on the side. Price point about 150. Um, so the more you spend on a plunger button, basically the finer this adjustment, the finer the adjustment here to make micro adjustment. And it really depends on the price of the bow. It's no use fitting a $150 plunger to a $200 bow. Um, I personally was using this $20 arrow rest on my bow and I was about to put the cartel one on but then I thought well I've got a $2,000 bow I might as well fit an expensive plunger button so I fitted the A gold micro plunger and this is the win and win plunger that I use on my win and win bow. The plunger here which is most common with Olympians which I haven't got pictures the biter plunger and the reason I haven't got the biter plunger pictured is the biter plunger comes in various lengths and the length is from there to there so depending on the size bow you buy the biter plunger has different lengths from there to there and for me that was a bit complex because I didn't know which plunger to buy with the biter plunger based on which bow I'm shooting at the time so I've, I have plungers that basically suit any bow um, they all work the same. I really like the win and win. The AE Gold is a nice plunger, but honestly, you're not going to notice much difference between even the cheaper plungers. Um, and I will just show the difference. You can see how much difference you have in movement between the cartel and the cartel and the win and win. The range of movement. And I'll try and push them both in. The range of movement is much greater on the win and win. And the same with, if I put them both up there, you can see the AA almost has twice as much movement. And I'll push them in. So the AA has almost twice as amount of movement as the cartel. So, but it's up to you how much money you spend. That's what they do. And once again, the tension on the spring is like micro adjustment to move the arrow left or right in the bow for fine tuning. The way you adjust that is through paper tuning or bare shaft tuning. So I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. I hope this has given you a bit of an insight into what a plunger button is, how they work, and to select one. They come in, most of the companies come in various colors. Um, most of my buyers are red, so you see I've got a collection of red plunger buttons. So I hope that's helped you out. Thank you. Bye.